This is a video on the basics of how to use a multimeter for beginners to test for continuity, DC and AC voltage, resistance, and current. Now today I will use the Cobalt DT926 multimeter which comes in a kit for just about $30. This meter is not automatic so you'll have to select the voltage you want with the dial. First, let's test for continuity. It's always a good practice to test your leads before testing any voltage, so this is how you would test for continuity. To check continuity, you simply turn the meter to the continuity position, and then you'll take your meter leads and touch them together. When you touch them together, this meter should show zero resistance, and it does, and now you can actually test continuity of a wire, and it should show pretty close to zero. If the test leads are not working or the wire you're testing is open, you'll show OL at the top of the multimeter. Next, we're testing for DC voltage. Now, for DC voltage, that's batteries and also some component level things. But for right now, we're going to stick to batteries, like this 12-volt battery in a car. Now, first, we're going to plug our meter leads in. We'll plug the red meter lead into the one on the right that says voltage, ohms, and milliamps. And the black lead will go into the middle. Now this is for all of the testing except later on when we're going to test for current. When we test for current, then the red lead will move over to the 10A. But that's the only time that that red lead will be plugged in to the 10A. And also on this meter, you're going to want to select one notch above the voltage that you're expecting. If you're expecting 12 volts, we'll select the 20 volt DC scale. And by the way, this symbol represents DC. So now we're going to put our black lead on the negative of the battery and then the red lead on the positive of the battery. And as you see, we get 12.63 volts, so this battery is good. Next, we'll go inside and test some common batteries. This is a AA battery. We'll put it on the 2-volt DC scale because this is a 1.5-volt battery. And it looks like this battery is testing, this battery is dead, 0.019 volts. It should be 1.5 volts. And I'll try another battery. And this battery is low, it's 1.1 volt, a little bit closer. So I'll try one more battery. This battery is a new battery, 1.6 volts. This is what your AA should test like. 1.6 volts or around that because it is a 1.5 volt battery. Next we'll test for household AC voltage. This should be about 120 volts. So we will put this meter on the 200 volt scale and this is the symbol for AC voltage. Now the next step is for demonstration purposes only. This could shock or kill you if it's not done correctly. So always seek further safety instructions than this video. The wider blade on the outlet on the left is the neutral side. I'll put the black lead into it. I'll do that first and then put the red lead into the smaller blade which is the hot side. And as you see we get 122 volts. Next, we'll test the ground from the hot to ground. I've got 122 volts, and then we can test from the neutral to ground, zero volts. Next, we're going to test for resistance. This is the symbol of ohms, which is the standard unit of electrical resistance. The resistor we are going to test is 4.3 K ohms, so I'll put it on the 20 K ohm scale. And the meter leads are plugged in the proper place. The red is in the ohms, black is in common. You want to also make sure you don't touch the resistor while you're doing the actual test because your body resistance will have some resistance in it and it could throw it off. This reads 4.29 kilo ohms, so this resistor is good. Next is an example on how to test for current. You will move the red lead into the 10 amp position on the meter. We're going to select 10 amps DC on the meter. And then you're basically completing the circuit. As you see, this is reading 0.33 amps or 300 milliamps. 
And again, you want to be careful not to touch the metal probes when you're testing this circuit because if it was enough current, it could shock you. Also on this particular meter, you'll never want to test more than 10 amps because it will burn a fuse in the meter or it could damage the meter. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.